Oh yeah, we couldn't do without the residential agents. Um, they're great, and they're great sources of referrals as well. But uh, moreover, we really do believe in our moniker, building better communities with Rand Commercial, because the community is not a monolith. And when you have the kind of tenant mix that you want, when you have the right kind of industry and commercial, it's a balance with the residential world, um, but you, you also really complete the picture mm -hmm. of what you know, our town looks like, our town USA, what does it look like? And you've, go, you've gone through towns mm -hmm. and you know the feel when you see it. You know, it's like that great quote that Justice Potter Stewart on the Supreme Court, where there was a ruling uh, on the Supreme Court in the, uh, in the early 70s, and they, uh, they asked, there was a pornography ruling by the Supreme Court, and they asked, just Pot, they asked Justice Potter Stewart, who's, who's, who's since passed away, say, well, well, what is your standard for pornography? He says, well, I know it when I see it. <laughs> and, uh, and, 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 and I think, I, I think that we know a well-planned community <laughs> when we see it. Uh -huh. No, I agree with you. I, yeah, you pass the town and first thing you want to say, oh my God, it's so cute. It's so clean. Look at the plants. Uh, look how charming it is. What a charming downtown area. Look at the cafes because everyone is proud to open their business there. Yeah, and just uh, maybe two blocks out is a very nicely nestled away multifamily. And then a couple of blocks further out is a, is a, is a nice small commercial uh, um, office park. And, and, and all of a sudden you realize that it can all be integrated and it can all work, you know, in concentric zoning and doing the kinds of things that need to happen. And people, I know that you know, living in Rockland County, which has gotten a lot better in terms of planning and zoning in many ways. But when we would, you know, my goodness, as you know, because you're from Jersey, that Jersey is literally five minutes away from here. I can, I can be in New Jersey in 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. I'm exaggerating. I can be there in 10 minutes. But boy, when you go through Montvale and Westwood and other places and you go, this is really great. I wish we could do the same thing. Mm -hmm. And there's a certain feel. You have that same thing in Westchester. You go through certain communities, uh, you know, Scarsdale and Harrison and Purchase and, you know, and Chappaqua. And you say, my goodness, they've done this right. And, and then when you see other places, you know that they don't have the political will to do it the right way. Well, but you are working on it. As I understand, you're working very hard on uh, bringing the right change to the community and uh, uh, and that's what you are well known for, that you stand up for the community, you fight for it, and you bring results. We do. And um, as I said, in every part of this area that we cover, we have agents that live and work and play in these areas. And so we're invested in it. We're not interlopers. We're not some, we are a large company, but we're not some faceless, this is still a family company. And, and, and the RANDs lead by example. Um, and it's been my honor to work for them for three decades now. And they believe in giving back and they've, they've allowed us at Rand Commercial to have free reign to do those things that, that we've set out to do. And you take a look at the city of Yonkers. We've been in Yonkers since 1998 and it was a tough place in 1998. You didn't you didn't get out of your car in certain neighborhoods. Mm, I, I know. <laughs> and today, Yonkers is the hottest place in New York, the only city that's growing. It's the third largest city in the state of New York. It's growing in population, 4,000 units in the pipeline, a revitalized waterfront, a downtown that's being completely rethought, reimagined, and, you know, it just goes back that if you put the time and the effort and you get the right leadership mm -hmm. coordinated with everybody else, you can make things happen. So sometimes it doesn't happen overnight. That's okay. That's okay. You're working on it and, and you can see results. 
And I just I really appreciate your time. Thank I appreciate you. your knowledge and your passion uh, and your vision. It's it's fabulous vision what you have to offer. So I just want to say well, thank you so much, Paul. And thank you for providing the kind of opportunity you do for my colleagues and folks interested in real estate to get a glimpse into our little world. So thank you for your show. Thank you. Yeah.